Hello, it's Dan Webbs here, the head professional at St Anne's Old Links Golf Club. I am back with my weekly newsletter. Just if you are enjoying these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button below to, so you don't miss out on any future tips, reviews. Also, we're going to have a few giveaways as well. We've got to make sure you don't miss out on that. Hit the notification bell and you will always be notified when we've got a video that's gone live. Anyway, back to this week's news. So huge congratulations. We were there, managed to get down and watch a little bit of the Women's Rico British Open. Congratulations. Congratulations to Georgia Hall. Managed to hold off the Asian dominance in the game, certainly in that top 10 of the leaderboard. There's a, a, an English name and a Spanish name, the rest from Asia, Koreans, China. You know, fantastic. The golf growth they're having over there, certainly in ladies or women's golf. Well done to Georgia for managing to hold them off and winning her first tournament. Yeah, her first win was a major, that is not bad. Well, I did manage to get down on Friday. I was very fortunate to be a guest of Calvin Klein. I watched a bit of the golf and was entertained very nicely throughout the day. So thank you again, Calvin Klein, for that. S Sunday evening, I popped down with Becca and the boys and we just had a little wander around, absorbed the atmosphere. It's fantastic for the town to see this kind of event on our doorstep with this kind of field as well. Uh, and like I've said, it might have just encouraged a few more girls to play golf back here to St Anne's Old Links. This weekend we hosted the past captains, Silver Salva, congratulations to Robbie Lockhart, superb 68, it was a white tees medal, great work there. Ian Wilkinson, hard luck just missing out on a card playoff alongside Carl McEwen, again 68, so three great scores. Well done, Robbie, uh, winning on a card playoff. Twos were paid out at eight pounds per two. They've all been added to your account. Well done, guys. Next week, and we have the Old Links Quiche Cake Quake. I think it's a Scottish drinking vessel. Um, but then the following weekend is our captain's final. 18 holes Saturday, and then a shotgun start. 18 holes Sunday with a presentation and meal afterwards. Have you qualified for the captain's final? If you have, make sure you keep an eye on your start times and also obviously for the shotgun. That is not this weekend, that's the following weekend. Remember, there will be a meal after play and a presentation. So whilst we're on the topic of Saturday competitions, this weekend we trialled a four ball, 10 minute intervals uh, event here. And in my opinion, it worked very well. The first group went out at seven o'clock. We're rounding three hours 40 in a four ball off a white tees and a medal. We had 10 minute intervals. There was absolute perfect flow on the tee. No delays at all. I've just got to remind you, make sure you stay to your time. A few went a bit early, which could cause a problem. But the third hole where we normally see a backlog by 10 o'clock, it was flowing nicely. The ninth as well. There was no, or well, there seemed to be no waiting on the course. I had a good look around to make sure this was the case. And the groups around one o'clock had no delay on the tee and we're finishing around the four hour mark. I think that's fantastic, that's a good trial so far. 157 golfers played, might be a bit different with a few more, but 10 minute intervals kept things moving nicely. We also gave out a guide on slow play, so just little things to remind you about. Be ready to play your shot. Don't wait, watch your player, partner play his shot, then wander over to your ball. Just get in a position that you're ready to play. Also locations of where you might leave your bag. So make sure you always leave your bag in between green and tea. Don't leave your bag the other side of the green. That again, little things like that can save us time and help us play sort of more fluid golf, a better flow on the golf course, enhance our enjoyment. Everybody's out there to enjoy their golf. We don't want to be waiting. We don't want this slow play issue to keep going. And we've got a lot of members wanting to play on the prime time on a Saturday. So please help, help, us, help us with this trial. Give us feedback. Tell us how you think it went, but so far so good on the first occasion. Ask me anything you've got an issue with your swing and I'll try and cover it. This week I've had a gentleman ask him to help him. He can't stop sliding past the ball in his downswing. That slide can cause him getting past it, blocking it. His hands can then recover and try and pull it. You know, there's a few different faults that can happen. So a nice and simple drill. We know from the top of the backswing, the first movement we want is the hips to rotate. But as they rotate, they rotate from the right foot into this left heel. Now a great little drill. I've got this bag behind me here. You can stand against a wall and do this. Turn back, keeping your hips touching the wall so your right glute will touch the wall as you swing through. You rotate, rotate, keeping that left hip now into the wall. So this left hip rotates all the time. What that'll stop doing, the hips only slide because they don't rotate. So the hip has to rotate into that left heel. You'll see this if you watch the golfers on television. That first move on the downswing, you see Rose doing this drill quite a lot there. Gets his hip rotating first and then pulls his arm in. I'll hit a shot doing that, see how it goes. This is the I-500 iron. 
great club i've done a little power test iron review you want to have a little look at that click on the link below so from the top of my back swing the first thing i'm going to do is rotate my hips stop them sliding forward that felt nice and strong just a little pull left there but certainly from the top of my back swing keep that hip rotating it prevents what we call an early extension one more so we can get this one a little bit straighter so again from the top of the backswing first movement is to feel so this left hip is going into that wall behind me left hip out of the way there you go that was more like it so I mentioned the bag that I have behind me inside it's got something very very special this is a limited edition black version of the P790s it's got a diamond gold black shaft it's all black head it's foam filled one of the hottest clubs on the market has just got even hotter. We've only got two sets of these. We've got a stiff and a regular. They are very limited. If you're interested, comment below, message me, come get in touch because they are, it will be a first come first served and these will go like hot cakes. So last night, the climax of the World Golf Championships, the Bridgestone Invitational, awesome from Justin Thomas, solid golf. The rest seemed to falter. Dustin, world number one, he flew up the leaderboard with a great score, but Rory dropped back yet again. Tiger dropped back yet again. Fleetwood, he managed to do okay. Jason Day's up there. Hold on a minute, the guys are all performing well again. What's coming up? There's a major this week, it's the US PGA. Who's gonna win it? I fancy Dustin the way he's playing. He's on form, he's world number one, and he's hungry for it. He seems to be in a great place. Nice to see Poulter playing his way into the Ryder Cup team. That is only six weeks away over in Paris. Great to see some of the best golfers in the world reaching peak performance, hitting the top of their game as we're heading in to a Ryder Cup. That is going to be one spectacle, that is for sure. Well, that's it from me for this week's news. Once again, thanks for watching. Please keep liking, sharing, help me grow the channel. We're going to do a giveaway next week, so make sure you watch and look out for that. Thanks again. See you soon.